Six days earlier, rebel forces had also been defeated at Gettysburg, and the high tide of the Confederacy began to recede. In South Carolina, the rebel fortification Battery Wagner was Charleston Harbor's first line of defense. The Union Army considered its capture to be essential, and the all-black Massachusetts 54th led the attack to bring it down. My dear wife, we are on the march to Fort Wagner to storm it. We have just completed a successful retreat from James Island. We fought a desperate battle there Thursday morning. God has protected me through this. My first fiery, led a trial, and I do give him the glory. First Sergeant Robert Simmons, Massachusetts 54th. Fort Wagner was located on a barrier island. The earthen installation was defended by 1,700 Confederate troops. When the attack came, some 600 men of the Massachusetts 54th marched across an open beach. The Union soldiers were cut down by a devastating torrent of gunfire. Sergeant Major Lewis Douglas, son of Frederick Douglas, wrote of the slaughter in a letter to his fiancée. It was terrible. The shell would explode and clear a space of 20 feet. Our men would close up again, but it was no use. How I got out of that fight alive, I cannot tell. But I am here. Remember, if I die, I die in a good cause. Sergeant Major Lewis Douglas. 272 members of the 54th were either killed or wounded in the attack. The unit's commanding officer, 25-year-old Colonel Robert Shaw, was one of those who lost his life. We were exposed to a murderous fire from the battery of the fort. Mortal men could not stand such a fire. When the men saw their gallant leader fall, they made a desperate effort to get him out. But they were shot down or reeled in the ditch below. Corporal James Gooding. When the color bearer was wounded, Private William Kearney raced forward to rescue the American flag. As the former slave fought his way back to the Union lines, he was shot in the head, chest, right arm, and both legs. Despite his wounds, the 23-year-old soldier staggered into camp, clutching the bloody flag. The surviving comrades broke into cheers as William Kearney proudly exclaimed, Boys, I did my duty. The dear old flag never touched the ground. Private William Carney. For his actions that day, William Carney was awarded the Medal of Honor. I decided I could best serve my God by serving my country and my oppressed brothers. Private William Carney.